Hey guys, today we're going to be checking out How to Trollger Market Gardener Basics. I cannot wait to watch this. I did watch a How to Trollger video a couple of days ago and I did not know that it was a part of a series and I apologize. You guys were awesome enough to let me know that it was like the fifth or sixth one or so um, in the playlist. So I cannot wait to watch this man. Today we're going to be starting with the very first one and it should be just as great as the other one. I really enjoy Soundsmith. He's one of my favorite TF2 creators just does a really, really good job. Has some awesome content, and I just can't wait to watch today's video. So thank you so much to everybody that's been supporting the channel here, liking and commenting. You guys are awesome, man. I really, really appreciate the support. And with that being said, this is your first time stopping by the channel. Do not forget to hit that sub button, please, and thank you. And let's go ahead and jump into it. 195 is my favorite number. I'm not sure okay. if it's Pavlovian or what, but at this point, I'm pretty sure my brain is just hardwired to release dopamine whenever it hears this sound and sees that number. And honestly, <laughs> I feel like the reason for that is pretty simple. It's because this, oh my God, <laughs> is really fun. If you're watching this video, I think it's safe to say that you'd agree with me on that, but maybe don't quite know where to start. And that's okay. I mean, yeah, this playstyle is fun, but it can also seem pretty complicated if you don't know what you're doing. So let me just cut straight to the chase. You want okay. to know how to troll her? This is where you start. All right. As you probably guessed from the title, Trollger is a playstyle primarily centered around the Market Garden, an unlockable melee weapon for Soldier with which we'll be using one specific stat, deals crits while the wielder is rocket jumping. What this means is that if you blow yourself up and launch your body into the stratosphere like a complete madman, well, congratulations, <laughs> your shovel is now absurdly powerful and until you hit the ground, will deal 195 damage with every swing. Now, normally when you rocket jump, you would damage yourself. It's a trade-off that you give for that mobility. But we're also going to be sidestepping that health cost by using another one of Soldier's unlockable weapons. <laughs> okay, maybe calling it a weapon is a little bit of a stretch. Rocket Jumper is a primary replacement for Soldier that functions exactly like the stock rocket launcher, except it does no damage whatsoever to enemies or to the user. Originally, it was meant to be used as a training launcher so that new jumpers could practice without blowing themselves up every five seconds. But we're essentially going to be abusing that to fling ourselves across. This is why I love Soundsmith, man. The humor is just on point here. Cross the map at warp speed, power up our comically large spoon, dive bomb right next to somebody, and hopefully kill them right before we win. If you're new to this whole Team Fortress 2 thing, yeah, that probably sounded a little intimidating. This playstyle has a lot of moving parts to it, but oh no. don't panic. To make this easier to digest, <laughs> dude, I just can't. I just can't get over Soundsmith's humor, man. It's just so funny. So the reason why he's one of my favorite. TF2 creators, man. Um, they just so funny, man. I love to laugh and I love videos where I can I can laugh along with it. It's just so good, man. This is just so funny. Um let's just go ahead and break this whole sequence. And of course, down just makes great points. content on Jumping how to play stuff, the game. The airborne stuff and the shovel stuff. Hello again. I'm fast. I'm so fast, you couldn't even comprehend how fast I am. <laughs> oh, man. Like, he's really good at explaining the game, especially someone like me. Like, I'm terrible at the game. I, you know, I've been playing it for a few months now, and I love it, but I'm just not the, you know, I'm not the best at it. But it's a really fun game, and he just does a really great job of, like, being funny, but also being super informative. And it's just, it's really fun, man. I always find okay, myself laughing first, through almost the whole video. Gardener, we need to rocket jump. To do this, start walking, look at any surface, then jump, crouch, and shoot all at the same time. And that's it. That's a rocket jump. Yeah, well, uh, actually, <laughs> clutch timing can vary if you're using specific techniques like uh, seat tapping. And, uh, but, 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 no, 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 no. <laughs> don't listen to that guy, okay? If you're just starting out, don't worry about any of that complicated shit, all right? For now, all you need to know for the timing is to just do them at the same time, okay? Okay. Now, after you press those three buttons at the same time, let go of W. This is because of something that I'm gonna explain later in the video, but for now, just trust me. Don't hold W in the air, ever. Seriously, stop it. Well, 
actually okay. once you've got the base I can rocket jump I'm just not great at it yet I can I can rocket jump though but not near as cuz I see some people do just fly in around the map and I just can't do that down, yet. we need to start controlling where we go with the jump this is actually Ooh. the most difficult part of market guard the hard part isn't swinging the shovel it's rocket jumping next to them so that when you swing the shovel it actually connects you aren't exactly aiming a gun at the enemy gamers it's more like you're aiming your entire body <laughs> <laughs> so let's talk about rocket placement. Where and how fast you fly when you rocket jump is primarily determined by where the explosion happens relative to where you're standing. What? So to keep things simple, let's <laughs> just look at it like this. If the explosion happens here, you'll go this way. If the explosion happens here, you'll go that way. And if the explosion happens here, you'll still go that way, just faster. Now things just are gonna faster. be a little tricky when we try to extrapolate this to a three-dimensional space because now we also have to worry about all this vertical shit. Shooting closer to yourself on the <laughs> ground will make you go faster, yes, but it will also cause you to go higher instead of further, which could be a problem. But remember, the rocket doesn't have to be on the floor. It can be on any surface. Walls, props, payload carts, all of these are fair game, and it pays off to be creative here. The last thing you need to remember for a basic rocket jump is to keep walking in the direction that you want to jump up until you jump. If you're moving your aim around with your right hand to place your rocket, that might mean you have to change up what your left hand is doing on LASD to keep keep going in the same direction. So for example, if I'm aiming to jump off of a wall on my right, but I keep walking forward with W, I am okay. now walking into the wall instead of forward, and that means I'm going to lose speed on the jump. Oh, I see. Instead, what I would want to do is swap to pressing A as I aim at the wall. So this way, I'm now strafing to the left along the wall, and I'm moving in the same direction that I'm trying to fly as I jump. Fuck yes, dude! I know this is a lot of information <laughs> to digest, and a lot of what I'm talking about is gonna take some practice to get down. But unfortunately, this is a multiplayer game, and as you might have guessed, you aren't going to be able to practice very effectively if there are people trying to kill you. So instead of going into a casual server and trying this out, what I'd recommend you do is find a place where you can be all alone. Alone. Hello. Oh, dude. <laughs> oh, man, it's hilarious. Alone. Alone. <laughs> I love this man. Specifically, fire up. And, if, and like I said, if there's any more uh, Soundsmith videos you guys want to check out, I know that you want to see me watch through the How to Troll Your series. And of course, you know, How to Troll Your has been off so far, and I'm sure we'll continue. Uh, but if there's anything else, like maybe some try not to laugh challenges or something like that, I probably would lose every challenge. But maybe, maybe if you want to see something like that, just let me know in the comments down below. Listen server. To do this, make sure your developer console is enabled. You can so find this by pressing advanced on your options menu, then open it up, type map, space, and then any map you feel like practicing on. For this example, I'm using my go-to PLR underscore Hightower. To make things easier, I've also enabled cheats with SV underscore cheats one, and I have bound my mouse one to also refill my health and ammo whenever I fire. And now oh. you can jump around and practice to your heart's content. One practice method that I like to use is I pick any destination on the map and then I try to rocket jump such that I can consistently land there from a few different places using a few different kinds of jumps. Okay, okay. So, okay. congratulations! After practicing for a little while, you've managed to get a good feel for basic rocket jumping and where to place your rockets. But if you just hop into a casual game and jump straight at somebody, <laughs> you realize pretty quickly that we kind of forgot something. They're an enemy gamer. And that means they can game too. <laughs> that means they can play too. The air, but we're not quite done yet. There are three big things you need to do in this part. And the first one is not only important, but also probably one of the most useful skills you can even learn for any advanced movement in TF2. It's called air strafing. Even if you don't end up committing to the whole trollzer thing, it'd still be in your best interest to learn how to air strafe, since it's a skill that's usable on every class. It essentially okay. allows you to control your movement while in midair. Which can <laughs> the valve flight turn corners faster and even make some pretty crazy escapes. 
To do this, hold down one of your two strafe keys, A or D, and then slowly move your mouse in the corresponding direction. So if you're strafing to the left with A, you'd move your mouse to the left. And if you're strafing to the right with D, you'd move your mouse to the right. When you do this correctly, your character kind of curves through the air. Now there is a okay, limit yeah. on how fast you can turn though, so don't move your mouse too quickly. It's a slow, oh. gradual thing. If you go faster than the limit, terrifying like a map. <laughs> kind of stop. I don't know how to describe the exact rotational speed that the limit is set at, and also it changes if you wear man treads. But if you try it out for yourself, it's pretty easy to get a feel for. It does okay. seem pretty simple. It's basically just a combination of two inputs, but there is one big mental roadblock that every new player seems to run into, and that's that thing we talked about earlier holding W. The reason you never want to hold W is because it actually prevents you from effectively air strafing. Just compare these two clips of me trying to air strafe without holding W and while holding W, right? It, it doesn't entirely disable it, but it will severely gimp you. Seriously, I cannot overstate how important it is to break this muscle memory early on. Don't hold W, okay? It's, okay. it's not good. It's but not little good. Side note, air strafing doesn't just let you control yourself in midair. It also actually causes you to speed up. Some really smart people did some really complicated math about this, and it's, uh, I, I'm not smart enough to understand any of this. <laughs> but smart if you're smarter enough. than me and you're interested in learning more about burst engine acceleration vectors, I'll put a link in the description. But in the interest of moving on before I embarrass myself anymore, uh, source engine is dumb, funny witty line go zoom. <laughs> okay, so once you get the hang of air strafing, how does it connect to troll drift? Well, more air control will essentially let you course correct mid jump. Obviously, you aren't gonna aim a perfect jump every single time, and the person you're jumping at is undoubtedly gonna be moving around, sometimes <laughs> a lot. <laughs> So if you air strafe, you can follow them while you're falling to the ground. Try to predict where you think they'll be when you get to the ground and aim to land right next to that spot. Now one more thing before we move on, you might have picked up on some key wording there that is super important, but just in case, I want to run it back and play it again. Try to predict where you think they'll be when you get to the ground and aim to land right next to that spot. Aim to land right next to that spot. Right next to that spot. Next to that spot. Yep, that's <laughs> right. We are not aiming to land on top of somebody. We are aiming to land next to somebody. The reason for this has to do with maximizing the time you have to crit someone with your gardener. Remember, this thing will lose its crit buff as soon as you land. So yes, when your feet hit the ground, you lose it, but you also lose it if your feet hit the top of someone's head. Technically, oh, I see. that counts as landing. But if you land next to somebody, you'll spend more time in melee range, meaning it's gonna be a lot easier for you to hit that shovel. So unless you're wearing man treads and you're trying to do the funny stomp, your air strafing should be used <laughs> to land next to someone. Okay, moving on from air strafing, the second big thing you need to do, thankfully, is a lot more straightforward. Hold crouch and keep holding it until you land. That's it. The reason is the exact same as before. It makes it easier for you to hit your guard. Crouching in TF2 is a little bit weird. If you crouch while on the ground, it brings your torso down, but if you crouch in the air, it brings your legs up. So oh. you land next to somebody, if you're crouching, again, you have a bigger window to hit that garden. And finally, the last thing you need to do while in the air is remember to pull out your market gardener. I know, it's pretty obvious, but it's also very important to remember. There's an animation that plays before you're actually able to swing, so you want to do it soon or else it'll be a really awkward landing. <laughs> Uh-oh, what's happening in here? Congratulations, you got to the fun <laughs> part. And as it happens, this is also the easiest part. All you okay. have to do at this point is hit the target after you get in melee range, but before you hit the ground. You are going to have to swing a little bit early, but this really just comes down to timing. There's a quarter second delay between when you click and when your melee will hit something, and once you get a feel for this, it'll come naturally. Also, quick side note, you might have noticed that the Market Gardener has a stat that says it reduces its swing speed, but this actually affects the recovery time between the swings and not the actual swing itself. The first oh, swing okay. is just going to be the same as every other melee, so just don't even worry about it. Now, if you did all of this correctly... <laughs> This is perfect. 
Now that we've gone over every step of a market garden, I'd like to go through an entire sequence, input by input, and show how it all comes together. I start by walking forward with W, and then I look down and to the right to place my rocket. As I'm doing that, I swap from pressing W to pressing A to make sure I'm still walking forward. Then I jump, crouch, and shoot all at the same time, and immediately press 3 to pull out my gardener. Still holding crouch and A, I move my mouse to the left to air strafe to the left, but I realize I went a little bit too far, so I swap from A to D and slow slowly move my mouse back to the right to air strafe and get myself back on track. At this point I'm right on target and all I have to do is left click at the right time and boom. There nice. It is. I'll go ahead and play it back <laughs> one more time at full speed with all the inputs on screen. And that's it. That's a market garden. Nice. Oh, there's more. Okay. This play style is undeniably fun as hell, but it also requires a lot of practice to get the hang of. So here are a few practice. I was gonna say I feel like I can, I might be able to, you know, I might be able to do this, but I'm gonna. It's gonna take a lot of practice, man. A really lot of practice. Me out when I first started, using an offline listen server is fine for getting the basic jumping motion down. But if you're looking yeah. to try out some more advanced stuff, I would suggest you check out Jump Academy's servers. Just type Jump Academy into your server browser, and they should pop right up. This isn't okay. sponsored, by the way. Their, their servers are just really good. They released a new map a while ago that covers practically all skill levels of rocket jumping, all the way from basic air strafing to completely insane bullshit. Like to put it in perspective, <laughs> what you're seeing right now is one of the medium courses. I can't even make medium. it the courses myself. It's crazy. Suffice to say, it has a little something for everyone. If you're looking to get a better feel for the timing on your market gardener, though, try out TR Walkway RC2. It's a custom app where it just spawns a bunch of bots walking <laughs> in a straight line for you. You can okay. customize just about everything about the map and it's a great environment for just getting the hang of handling your shovel and even if you can't get the hang of it right away don't worry i know it can be a little discouraging but like this shit's hard man i can't even tell you how long it took me to land my first garden it's because i lost track it took a long time okay it is <laughs> admittedly a lot of effort for something so silly but in my opinion oh that dopamine rush is totally worth it if you keep practicing and you put in the time cultivating your garden You'll be farming those kills in no time. Nice. Ooh. Oh, man. Okay, dude. That was awesome. That was great, man. Really enjoyed it. And like I said, this is um the first part of a series. So if you want to see me continue to watch this, just let me know down below. And like I said uh, earlier in the video, if there's anything else you need to see me react to, it doesn't have to be TF2, but of course we love TF2 here. Uh, you're more than welcome to put it down below, and I'll be sure to put it on the list to make. And um yeah that's all i got for you man so yeah it was really really awesome i enjoyed it if you enjoyed it don't forget to hit that like button and it really helps out the channel here um and yeah this was just really really awesome and i can't wait to see the next one so that's all i got for you i will see you in the next video and do not forget man it's work army for life